So as far as I as, like bootleggers, bro. I buy bootleggers. bootleggers lunch. I buy them cars and all kind of shit. I do all kind of shit for the bootleggers. I really do. I'm a bootlegger myself. I got a trunk full of CDs. I turn the gas station sitco. It's right there by TSU. You don't believe me? I ain't lying. I swear to God to you, bro. I turn the gas station into a record store. Straight up and down. I park my Bentley, nigga. Straight up and down, nigga. And you can come get you any one of my mixtapes for ten dollars a piece. And I, I choose Sitco because that motherfucker right by the college. So everything that's coming is pretty much from out of town. They take that motherfucker right back to their family. So I, the bootleg, I realized, see, with, with the whole bootlegging thing and, 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 and all that thing, is like, it's depending on the type of artist and who you are, which which it hurts. Yep. Bootlegging could slaughter a nigga like Puffy if he ain't coming with it all the way. Nigga buy his bootleg, and if it ain't right, then they ain't buying the album because, you know, the standards that, you know, cats like that set for themselves are so high, you know. And a nigga like me and a few more other rap niggas out here, I think, you know, you, 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 when you almost built from the bootlegger, I think I was, I was built from the bootlegger. Man, my first album straight out of Cansville was bootleg 30 days before it hit the streets, before it hit the shelves. You know what I'm saying? And what'd you do first week? You still did numbers, right? Yeah, I'm right. I still had the number one rap album in the country. I would have had the number one album in the country if it wasn't for country ass Tim McGraw. <laughs> 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 he had number one. R. Kelly had number two, so I had the number three album in the country and number one rap album in the country for two weeks straight. So as far as you see it, the bootlegging helps because it gets it gets the word of mouth up on your album and you're an artist that I benefits from that. I see it as the that. same people that went and got my bootleg went and bought my album. Straight up and down. I, I know for a fact bootleg is used for a form uh, for to make sure that their artist is, is deliver something worth them going to spend their $15 for a CD. And that's because so many artists been putting out watered down ass music, you know, that the fans is, and shit is damn near scared to spend their $15 and get an album that only got one or two good mm -hmm. records on. So a motherfucker like, fuck it, I'll download this shit. But if that motherfucker downloads your shit, that fan downloads your shit and, that, and the album is fully fucking banging, then that fan want to go, because you never get a bootleg to just fully fucking sound like the album anyway. But at the end of the day, if that shit is top to bottom, that's what I call it. When you can push your shit in and, and just play your shit all the way through, you know what I'm saying? And, the fans gonna go right back and buy that album because then, you know, it's considered a classic to them then. And everybody wanna be a part of a classic, you know. You always wanna say, I got that out. When on down the line, when the conversation come up about, yo man, you remember that classic album, nigga? They be like, yeah, bro, you know, so. Music mark time and shit too, you know what I'm saying? So, end of the day, I'm trying to tell you rap niggas how to get like me. And that's just start focusing on making your material more or less than thinking about selling the records. I don't make moves to sell records, and that's what the game built off of now. That's why you have so much pretendo beef and all that old shit, you know what I'm saying? Because niggas do certain things to sell their records, and I just focus on making the best music possible. I'm knowing that just that right there is going to outsell any of these niggas because they forgetting that here. And some of the moves that, they, that some of these artists make is clever because they, they make them and, and they records do sell, but then they records stop selling. You know what I mean? They may have a cool one or two weeks, but then it stopped because they have to find another move to make the gain attention, more or less than focusing straight on making that, that album. That album will could sell forever. You, you know, I'll go buy a fucking Chronic album right now after this one gets scratched. You know what I'm saying? That's just cause that's the end I fall on and I beat them that from that way. So only a few of us like that, you know what I mean, in the game that look at it from that way.